So, a lot of people are excited about the new Elgato prompter. Let me know if you are too. But there are three things that I don't like about the Elgato prompter. That's why I'm not exactly a fan. The first one is the fact that it attaches to your camera lenses. Some lenses are heavy and I don't like the idea of adding extra weight that your camera's mount needs to hold. Sure. I know that the device is supposed to be lightweight because it's plastic, but that brings me to the second thing that I don't like, which is the build quality. And okay, yes, I am aware that you can mount the camera on the L bracket of the teleprompter behind it, instead of the teleprompter being on the lens. But I wouldn't feel all that confident putting the weight of a lens in an expensive camera on a plastic teleprompter. I mean, even the cold shoes are made of plastic. It really doesn't inspire premium. Now that brings me to the third thing that I don't like, and that's the price. It's going for 280 US dollars for a plastic teleprompter. And I agree it has a lot of value and it even includes a screen, but what if you could do almost everything that the Elgato prompter can, but with a much cheaper alternative that's actually built like a tank? Well, that's what I've been using for about a year. I use the Elo Kenzie, and yes, that's how I'm pronouncing that, the Elo Kenzie teleprompter, and like I said before, this teleprompter is built like a tank. It is almost entirely made of metal, and the camera sits behind the glass with everything on top of a metal base. It even has metal attachments to mount the gear on the sides. Now, this is meant to be used with an iPad, but in my case, I use it with a field monitor that's connected to my computer via HDMI. This way, I can use it as a second screen, just like with the Elgato. And just like with the Elgato prompter, I have the camera preview as well as the teleprompter app set with transparency so that I can read my script and see myself at the same time. And because the field monitor is a second screen, you can also have your video conferencing software of choice and make eye contact with your meeting participants. So, what does this combo cost? The teleprompter is often on sale, and at the time of filming this video, it is going for just under 80 US dollars. The Field World Field Monitor is going for 95 US dollars. So, mean total about 175 US dollars, which is slightly more than $100 less than what the Elgato prompter cost with a much better build, in my opinion. And if you happen to already have an iPad that supports Sidecar, you wouldn't even need to buy the field monitor. By the way, everything that I mentioned is linked in the description down below. Now, these are affiliate links, so if you buy any of these items, I will get a commission at no extra cost to you, and you will be greatly helping me out. So, thank you. What do you think about this alternative? Let me know in the comments. And if this video was helpful, which I hope it was, I really hope that you don't mind caressing that like button. And if you want to level up your audio, check this video right here, where I compare two very affordable shotgun microphones. I hope to see you in the next one, and until then, may God bless you all.